Can AI really help us to design faster? They promise it, but did they give give her? In this video, I compared more than a dozen tools from Google and the most popular ones like Lovable, Bold, Figma Make to understand whether they help us, they can really help us to design faster and speed up our design process. And hello everyone, my name is Elena and I'm lead product designer at Poly AI. And as you can guess, this video will be helpful for UI, UX or product designers who work on really big and complex SaaS platforms who are trying to find which AI tool can help to accelerate their work, not replace, but empower and speed up. I'll show you how each platform performs based on the criteria that matters to me. It is about how fast it generates the UI, how easy it is to tweak or reprompt, and also the quality and similarity this UI to a design that we have on our platform already. And sometimes other product managers might need to have a tool that can help them to generate some UI and check hype of this, uh, do wireframes, or maybe sometimes to have tests with clients without the designers when designers are really busy. To make it fair, I decided to use the same instruction, the same prompt, and use the same design for each of these AI tools to see and compare them in a more like as I said, fair way. So the first prompt, I will say just recreate the design using this um, just screenshot or upload Figma file or upload the link to this exact frame. Depends on the tool. And uh, after the AI tool generate this design, I will compare the generated design with this one and try to understand how clear the design actually by AI tool and how similar it is to it. And you can see that also the second uh, instruction would be to remove the open button from here to make each row being clickable or at least hoverable. And as I said, the instruction will be the same for each of these AI tool. So this comparison will be fair. So let's start. Obviously, it was fun to play with all those tools. So let's see the result. Uh, and I start with Lovable. And as you can see, the interface is pretty solid. There are some issues with the pie chart, but like otherwise, everything's good. Builder IO uh, also shared a really good result, but lack of bar chart. Stitch is nice, but yeah, some issues with bar chart as well. Subframe, yeah, pie chart as well, but pretty clean. Magic patterns, pie chart, very sick. And unfortunately, pie chart is like the most, um, like the biggest pain point for every of these tools. Uh, tempo, yeah, you see like extra cards on look. It's actually did a really good job, but like, yes, few issues. Pretty, it's pretty good. View app, pie chart is pretty solid, but like might be better. Uh, Replit, last, uh, last topics. Polymat, yeah, last topics, and also, yeah, pie chart is uh, undercooked. Base 44 is pretty good, as you can see, like everything's there. Bold, new, pie chart, as all of them. Figma make, uh, it's actually showed the best result in pie chart. It's like the same as design, so which nice. V0, uh, solid, but yeah, pie chart. Much uh, is very nice. Uh, pie chart, it did pie chart really well. Among successful generation, there was two products that was disqualified because they generated something different from what I expected them to generate. 
Uh, first of all, it was rollout that generates the landing page, so it was not possible for me to generate any SaaS complex interfaces, just landing pages, so disqualified. And the other one was Firebase. It was impossible for me to get the result because the waiting period for me the, that the product is actually generate my interface, it took more than 15 minutes. So I just like give up on waiting and disqualify this tool because it was impossible to get the result. To analyze those tools, I used my own benchmark that you can find in the table in the link in the description. So it started from ideal to run or no result, where ideal is like the same and similar to design I use to send to uh, AI. Great is where like everything's close to the design, but it's like there might be some tweaks to do, but overall it was great. Uh, good result when AI did a really good job, there are some inconsistencies or some tweaks that should be made by a designer. And acceptable when everything's good, but there is, might be some necessity to prompt something or ask AI to tweak some things. Uh, but it was not good enough, but still acceptable. Uh, unacceptable when design is absolutely different for, from what I asked it to do. And uh, there might not be any available tool to fix it, or maybe reprompting is not helping. Awful, uh, it's like when everything that AI generates was wrong, but it tries to generate, or maybe something is not as uh, good as it might be, or like impossible to reprompt. And wrong or no result, only two tools who haven't been uh, able to generate something that I asked to generate was like granted with this uh, status. So yeah, for example, Figma Make did a really good job and um, it was like almost ideal for I said it's great. And V0 did a really good job, but like there might be some tweaks uh, and yeah, I might say it was a good result. Then lovable. The result is acceptable. I know there might be some reprompting, but like happy reprompting to fix the pie chart. And busily or wisely, it was unacceptable because it was impossible for me to ask AI to regenerate the pie chart and like other tiny inconsistencies that really hard to tweak. And now it's time to compare first result and second result and see how each of these tools did their job. So the first one is lovable and as you can see, it did a bit better for the second uh, iteration. And you can see like this changes in the prompt really made a change because as you know, they had issues with bar chart and bar chart is like the best. Uh, Builder IO also did a bit good uh, for like, oops, I'll switch the positions. Uh, did pretty good for the second iteration, but as you can see, they lost the distribution bar charts. Stitch did better than the last time and uh, applied those changes everywhere, so it's good. Subframe did a bit better as well. Uh, for magic patterns, it lost any bar charts for distribution, unfortunately. Uh, Visily or Visily, uh, pretty nice cold distribution chart. Uh, would love to use it for the real design. But you can see it's completely changed the entire interface, so not cool. Tempo, um, it killed the pie chart but kept the cards uh, on the same place, so that's kind of weird. Unlook did good, added distribution, so it's nice. Ready, removed everything, the pie charts, but haven't added any bar charts. Relap, it was absolutely a different design and then the tool decided to place distribution below the actual interface, so the interface is Absolutely different. Replit, yeah, tiny shift and everything look broken. Uh, Polymath, yeah, changed by chart into bar chart, but it didn't help with the topics. 
May is 44. In the prompt, I actually asked to use bar chart. So to use clear chart, so not cool. Bold did really well. Figma make uh, have questions. It switched the positions and changed the conversation topics. So I'm kind of disappointed. And as you can see, they changed the, uh, not the layout, but the navigation. So the weird part, but it's usual stuff. B0 did actually good with distribution and I also like this chart. The rest of the interface remained the same, so it's good. Mocha uh, did really well. Uh, changed the bar chart into a bar chart, but haven't fixed these issues. As a like summary for this comparison, I might say that all tools did really well. Uh, but some of them obviously failed and changed the prompt, uh, changed the entire layout based on the prompt. And actually, reprompting interface is the most complex and unpredictable part because some tools allow you to reprompt and they literally just read your mind and do everything you ask to do. And the rest of them decide to change the entire design. So sometimes reprompting is more challenging than the actual design. As I mentioned before, I want it to be super fair competition. This is why I have the table with all comparison. Like you can see the name of the tool, the URL, and also initial generation duration. And some of them are did really good job and use like generate something under one minute or three minutes. And also you can see a column with initial generation result. And as you can see, some of these tools haven't finished the task, but I also decided to go with um, understanding how difficult it was to use the tool, how difficult it was to tweak or prompt the design. And you can see, you can compare these tools on your own. I might say it was super fun. And there are a few winners. Uh, as you can see, there was like something with really good UI design, with really good generation speed. And some of these tools was really easy to use. And some of them were really easy to tweak and reprompt and everything was predictable. But uh, the vast majority of these tools are either generate design that is unacceptable because, you know, changing the entire layout after a second prompt, like second attempt, uh, it is critical. So just like not every tool can handle reprompting, not all tool can generate really good design. It's all about what data they use for training their model to generate these uh, interfaces. And some like the most popular tools uh, give me understanding that they're like, um, they can do a really good job. And tools from really huge companies give me understanding that, like not understanding, they give me frustration and uh, maybe they will change it in the future, maybe not. So you can see the result, it looks awesome. Uh, some of these tools really promising, so the rest of them are, maybe they will get better over time. Um, so yeah, this is the comparison. As a final thought, I might say that none of this AI tool nailed everything. Some of them are outperformed, but some of them definitely stood out. I think that the real value is using AI to kickstart the process, not finish it. Because I can see that AI tools are something that can help us with basic ideas, brainstorming, wireframing, just to save time and we can use our creativity and also risk to create something beautiful, create something that is unique and can work for business and users and others. And please drop a comment what AI tool you want me to dive into or maybe create really like huge explanation and exploration video next. If you like this video, please press thumbs up, share and subscribe. And if you want the full comparison table, generated UI and also all links, they are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and keep designing.